good morning we begin with which accounts branch accounts we start with which one branch accounts before we start with branch accounts here also we are going to calculate profit or loss last last we have done single entry there you are maintaining accounts in an improper way you are not maintaining what complete books of records through that information available we work out what profit or loss here also we are going to calculate what profit or loss only but understand this branch account concept is useful when your company is running or organization is having two or more locations of business sir i am running business in chennai mumbai kolkata delhi like that in all the four metro cities i am having a branch clear i want to know the profit or loss made by what each branch separately at the time which concept will be useful this branch accounting concept will be useful clear if you have only one location of business for example you are having a head office and that is your main place of business no other location then you prepare a normal trading pnl account because all the things will be under your control clear let it be stock or let it be data or books of accounts or cash balances everything will be under your control so you can just prepare which one a trading pnl account and balance sheet okay but when your business is located in different places now will you have a full control over the stock is it possible to ascertain day to day position of the stock data cash collection expenses payments things like that is it possible to work no so at the time yes we have got different methods of working out the profit or loss different methods of working out what profit or loss okay for the purpose of accounting two types of branches one is which branch dependent branch what is a dependent branch simple the branch uh, please do not give annotation request okay all those things please do not disturb the class let it, let us proceed if there is a doubt you can send a chat message okay let us as yeah, yesterday itself i told you this is for sincere and serious revisions not for any fun okay coming back uh, number 1 okay uh, what is a dependent branch for example you are the branch in charge let us assume i am there in the head office branches all transactions will be recorded by head office who will maintain the books of accounts head office will take care of maintenance of books of accounts who will maintain stock registers head office will maintain then monthly statements you stand what monthly statements okay then of course based on the monthly statement uh, given by you we will take care of paying rent we will take care of paying your advertisement expenses all the cash requirements of the branch will be taken care by what head of head office okay then sir what about uh, what about goods am i allowed to purchase my own goods and deal with it no head office will send the goods you sell only that okay so here branch is more like a sales sales depot branch is more like a sales depot where you just sell the goods rest are all taken by the head office so books of accounts maintained by head office then goods are also taken care by head office cash requirements are also taken care by what head office everything is centralized everything is centralized so why branch is there then why branch people are there you just sell the goods whatever you collect you have to send to the head office cash sales collect cash sales collections send it to the head office collection from data send it to the head office everything will be taken care by what head office this is called as what dependent branch and a dependent branch we have got three methods of accounting one is called as which method data's method very simple each branch is treated like a data each branch is treated like a data and books of accounts are prepared every branch is taken as a data clear simple data's will have which balance debit balance so simple it will start with debit balance whatever you send debit the receiver debit it whatever you collect credit the giver so debits and credits you do at the end of the year normal data account will tally but you know in branch we send the goods expenses are at cost they sell and collect the money which is at selling price which is at which one selling price you find debits will be at cost credits will be at what price selling price if you tally this surplus will be there that is called as profit normal data account we record credit sales we record cash collection bad debts discount and all that tallies but in case of branch okay the expenses are incurred that is cost goods are sent at what cost all debits are at what cost but what they sell and they lay will be at what price selling price okay when you match it the account will not tally 
Okay, then the balancing for is called as which one? Profit. Simple. This method combines the advantage of the statement of affairs method as well as what? The final accounts, data account, normal data account like that. So that is stock data method. This has some limitations. Data method has some limitations. Later on, which method was developed? Stock and data method was developed. Then easy to do is which method? Final accounts method. So we are going to see all the methods. In the examination they can test based on these two. Branches and independent branches kind of a thing. Okay. Shall we? Now, this format would have been there in your material itself. We can go through branch accounts. How to prepare branch accounts? Pay attention. I will just explain. Okay. These are all opening balances at the branch. Assets will have which balance? Debit balance. Data also will have debit balance. Two balance brought down means stock, data, cash. Fixed assets, prepaid expenses, any other asset with the branch. Any other asset with the branch. It will have a debit balance. Same way, branch liabilities will have which balance? Credit balance. What are the branch liabilities? Credit has outstanding expenses. Any income received in advance, if there is any, that can be taken as which one? Asset. Okay, so two balance brought down, we record first. Then I told you, you know, every branch is treated like a data. Debit the receiver, debit the receiver, what and all they receive from us? Goods sent to branch they receive from us, then we send money for various expenses. I told you, the head office takes care of all the cash requirements of the branch. It can be salary or rent or petty expenses, all the requirements of the branch is taken care by what? Head office. So, debit whatever is sent, goods sent or cash sent, debit whatever is what? Sent. Then, on the credit side, Sometimes goods are returned by the branch, you credit it, credit the giver. Cash remitted by the branch. Now what they will remit to you? Remittance means sending, sending the cash or transferring the cash. What they will send it to you? Branch, let us assume we are there in the branch, which money you will send to the head office? Number one, cash sales. Whatever you collect, you have to send it. Sir, will it be daily or weekly? The instruction will be given by the head office. Anyhow, whatever you collect, you have to send it. That is number one. Sir, what about uh, the cash? What about the, the cash collected from debtors? Can I keep it? Can I keep the cash collected from debtors? No, that also you should send it. That also you should send it. So the cash remitted by the branch will be cash sales plus what? Collection from debtors like that. So all these are debited. Opening balance plus whatever is sent is debited. Then Whatever is received from the branch is credited, then record the closing balances. Data's balance, you know, two balance brought down, closing balance will have what? Buy balance, carried forward or carried down. This represents closing stock, data's cash, fixed assets and which one? Prepaid expenses and you record closing balance of liabilities also. Once again, opening balance of assets plus whatever is sent, then opening balance of liabilities and what? Whatever is collected, received from the branch, it can be goods or cash, then record the closing balance of assets and liabilities, as a balancing for we will get which one, profit or loss, as a balancing for we will get which one, profit or loss, this is a normal branch accounts, but sometimes you know, the stock, opening stock or closing stock or goods sent, the head office do not want to know the branch managers, how much is the profit earned by the branch. You are a branch in charge. You should not know what is the profit earned by the branch. At the time, what they will do? They will send the goods at cost price or invoice price? Invoice price. Invoice price means normal selling price like that. They will send the goods at invoice price. So the opening stock will be at which price? If the goods are sent at invoice price, branch records them at invoice price, this will be at what price? Invoice price. Then Good sent also will be at what price? Invoice price. Because whatever you send, you will record and branch also will record the same. Why do you do this? Simple. You do not want the branch managers to know what is the profit earned by them. Okay, this will also be at in which price? Invoice price. Then the goods returned by the branch also will be at what price? Invoice price. This also will be at invoice price. And one more thing, the closing stock also will be at what price? Invoice price. 
Now, in accounting, when you record everything at the invoice price on the debit side, cash collection and cash sales, everything is at invoice price, goods return also invoice price, stock is also invoice price, whether you will be able to find out proper profit or loss? No. So, what to do now? Simple. In ledger, when something is there on the debit side, okay, this is recorded at what price? Invoice price. Invoice price. Okay. Now, we have to eliminate the profit from that to ascertain the profit. To ascertain what? Exact profit. Okay, how to eliminate profit? On the credit side, you will eliminate it by stock reserve. This is nothing but profit in which stock? Profit in opening stock. So, whatever is the profit in opening stock, you will remove on which side? Credit side in the form of buy stock reserve. Then, this good sent to branches at what price? Invoice price. If you want to remove the profit, buy goods sent to branch. The profit element will be removed on the credit side. The profit element will be removed on which side? Credit side. Same way, in the credit side, the goods returned is there at invoice price. You will remove the profit on which side? The profit element alone will be removed on debit side. Then, the closing stock, that stock reserve will be eliminated on which side? Profit in which stock? Profit in closing stock, you will remove on which side? Debit side. Okay, so whatever I marked in red, if the opening stock is at invoice price, what to do? Buy stock reserve. The profit in opening stock, you remove on which side? Credit side. Goods sent to branch, if it is at invoice price, eliminate the profit on the credit side. Same way, when the goods are returned to the by the branch at invoice price given, eliminate the profit in which side? Debit side. If the closing stock appears at invoice price, remove the profit in which side? Debit side. So that this net profit worked out by you will be proper. Net profit worked out by you will be what? Proper. Clear? All these things are given in the form of a format already printed and given to you to save the time. Okay? Now, pay an attention. This one this one, this ledger is prepared by whom? Head office or branch? Head office is only preparing, so they will know the profit margin. This is not prepared by the branch. This is prepared by what? Head office, I told you already, books of accounts, dependent branch, maintained by whom? Head office. So, this one, branch account is prepared by the head office. Branch account is prepared by the head office. So, whatever I marked in red on the credit side and debit side will not come when? When the goods are sent at? Cost price. When the goods are sent at invoice price, eliminate the profit on the opposite side. You may ask, sir, can I reduce it on the debit side itself? That is not a proper way. Accounting is also a technique for where you maintain ledgers. Clear. The stock reserve you will maintain a separate ledger. Okay. The profit or loading on goods sent you will maintain what? A separate ledger. So it's better to eliminate on which side? Opposite side. When something is there on the debit side, just remove them on which side? Opposite side to remove it. So, this is about which method? Data's method. Please note, I have not given into printed notes that one because this is there already. Opening stock, opening data's, all these things will be there. The entire format, whatever I explained, it will be there in your, which one? Printed format. Now, I request you to take some notes for this. Okay, start. Certain notes which are important. That is for which method? Data's method. Data's method. Note for this one. Note for whatever I highlighted. Start. Cash remitted by the branch. Cash remitted by the branch. Cash remitted by the branch is equal to Cash limited by the branch is equal to, equal to what? Cash sales plus collection from datas. 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 Minus cash in transit if any. 
cash sales plus collection from debtors minus cash in transit if any. Sir, what do you mean by cash in transit? Cash sent by the branch but not received by the head office. This can be a demand draft or this can be a check not in cash, all those things. That is called as which one? Cash in transit. Next, separate line. This you can call it as a feature or a limitation also. This method, this method means data's method. Okay, this method, start. This method records, records transactions only between the head office and branch. This method records transactions only between what? Head office and branch. Only between head office and branch. Separate line. Branches transaction with outsiders. Branches transactions with outsiders. See, whatever is affecting head office and branch only will be recorded. Branches, transactions with outsiders, hyphen, credit sales. Will it come in the branch account? Credit sales, no. Credit sales, comma. Bad debts, discount allowed. Bad debts, discount allowed. Bad debts, discount allowed. Comma. Sales returns. Sales returns means at the branch goods are returned on the money. Sales returns. And loss of stock. Sales returns. And which one? Loss of stock are not recorded. Are not recorded. Let it be normal loss or abnormal loss. Any loss it won't be recorded. Okay, that is the weakness of the method. But anyhow, the profit worked out is correct only. Profit worked out is what? Correct only because it is like the opening balances are like opening statement of affairs. The closing balances are like what? Closing statement of affairs. Okay, this is what is given and this is what is taken. So, it is a combined advantage of both data account as well as what? I mean, uh, cash book, receipts and payments account so that you find out the profit or loss. There is no problem in arriving profit or loss. But you will not be able to record full transactions happening at what? Branch through this account. That is called as which method? Let us method. Otherwise, for examination point of view, please don't record which one? Credit sales, bad debts, discount allowed, then which one? Sales returns, then loss of stock, etc. In which account? The branch account. In branch branch account, let us method. Okay? So, with this note, we will start with which one? The first problem. Read the first problem, we will solve. Please read the first problem. We are given opening balances. Stock, data, and which one? Petty cash, furniture, prepaid fire insurance, outstanding salaries. So, whatever is given up to this point, whatever is given up to this point, it will come in what? Two balance brought down. Outstanding expenses will be what? By balance brought down. Liability. Opening balance, assets and liabilities are given. Then, goods and the branch, it will be debited. Cash sales, of course, we will consider for collected and remitted to the head office. Credit sales, we will not consider. Cash received from debtors, yes, we will consider for, I mean, uh, the cash debited from branch to head office. Then, some customers are paid directly to head office also. Okay, this also will be considered. Discount allowed? No, in main branch account it will not come. Then, cash sent for various expenses are given. Insurance charges are given. But look at insurance charges are paid up to 31st March. We are closing up to 31st December. We are closing the books of accounts on what month? 31st December. Insurance is prepaid for how many months? Three months. So you have to record what is paid. Prepaid insurance, you have to bring it as an asset. Please don't look into the way in which we have solved the final accounts. Trading PL account, no. We are preparing which account? Branch account, okay? 
goods returned by branch is given, goods returned by data is given, closing stock is given, petty expenses paid by the branch is given, provide depreciation on furniture at the rate of what? 10%. Loss of stock will not be recorded in which account? Main branch account. It will not be recorded in main branch account. Wait. For preparing branch account, do we have all the details? We have opening stock, opening data, so all the opening values are available. Goods sent to branch is also available. Cash remitted is also available. Opening balance of liabilities are given to us. Then, goods returned by the branch is also given to us. Cash remittance we can make out. Check the closing balances. Are we given stock? Closing stock is available. Closing data is not available. Closing data are not available. We have to ascertain what is the closing petty cash and fixed assets also. Then only we can start with which account? Branch account. So let us start with which one? Working note. Start. Working note for which one? Yeah. Same like single entry that you have done. Branch data account. We are going to prepare. Branch data account. Try to prepare the branch data account. So prepare data account to first. Prepare data account to first. We'll ascertain the balances. If you prepare data account, maybe you not have done mistake in opening balance because we have done many data account yesterday and in the last session. Credit sales, cash sales will it come in data account? No. Then discount sales returns, sales returns means goods returned by customers, discount allowed to customers. Are we preparing the main ledger or is it a working note? Working note, okay. Then cash collected from data, so much? 1,35,000. This is cash collected by the branch from the data. Can we close it? No. Some customers are paid directly to head office also. That will be by cash that is collected from the head office. By cash collected from the head office. Tally this now, you will get the closing balance. This is a cash collected by what? Head office. This is a cash collected at the branch. Look at the insurance paid. Insurance paid. What is insurance paid? Thousand six hundred. Insurance paid is 1600 from what date to what date? 1st April to 31st March 2013. So we are closing the accounts on 31st December. How many months prepaid? 3 months prepaid. So that will be 1600 into 3 by 12. How much? 400. So, prepaid insurance 1600 into 3 by 12, 400. Furniture, what is the opening balance given? These are the working notes that we do. Furniture, opening balance 1000, 12,000. 12, Less depreciation. Depreciation at the rate of what percentage? 10%, 1200 will give us closing balance. Please remember we are not preparing a trading p and account. We are preparing what? A branch account where this opening balance will be debited. Two balance brought down like that it will come. This will come as what? Buy balance carried down. The closing balance will come as buy balance carried down. Opening balance will come as two balance brought down. Then, look at the petty cash. What is the opening balance? 
thousand five hundred. What is petty cash sent? Four thousand, ah, four thousand. Then, what is petty expenses at branch? How much to it? Two eight five zero two eight five zero. So when you work out this, you will get the closing petty cash. What is the closing petty cash? Two six five zero. Wait, this will be debited where? Opening petty cash will be debited to which one? Branch account. This will come as opening asset. This will come as closing asset. Once again, what is insurance paid? Thousand six hundred. It is paid up to thirty first March. Three months prepaid. How much it is? Four hundred. Furniture opening balance twelve thousand. They ask you to depreciate. At the end of what? Ten percent. So thousand two hundred. Closing balance is ten thousand eight hundred. Petty cash, opening balance plus sent minus spent will give us which balance? Closing balance. And please remember, we have to record only the transaction. Is it on accrual basis? Whether cash branch account is prepared on accrual basis? No. It is based on the transactions. Whatever is sent will be debited. Whatever is collected from the branch is going to be what? Credited. No accrual basis. We are not doing which one? Trading P and L account. Then. We also need cash remitted by branch. I hope the screen is visible. There is no issue. I have just shown the screen. I am sharing the screen. If you are not able to see the screen, just exit the meeting and join. Those who are in live online. What is the cash remitted by the branch? How to work out this? Cash sales. What is the cash sales given? Three lakh thirty thousand. Then collected from debtors. Okay, this includes both one lakh thirty five thousand and direct payments also. What is the direct payment? That also should be taken. One lakh thirty five thousand plus twenty two thousand. That also should be taken. One lakh. To pay seven thousand. So, what is the total cash collection? Insurance paid will be debited to branch account. Prepaid expenses will appear as which balance? Closing balance. It's not remitted actually. We are recording the remittance. We are recording the remittance. Cash sales, how much is remitted by the branch? Three lakh thirty thousand. From data house. Okay, from branch we collected one lakh thirty five thousand. Directly from data house we collected what? Twenty two thousand. So totally, what is remitted? We are recording. So four lakh eighty-seven thousand is the total remittance from which one branch? So we prepared data account and other working notes. Now you can try preparing which accounts? Branch account. Try to do branch account. Please remember, we are not doing final accounts. Yesterday, full day we were doing like uh, final accounts, final accounts. So please ignore that accrual basis or whatever. Okay. So paid will be debited in the branch account debit side. What will come? The amount paid will come debit side. Furniture opening balance, two balance brought down will be recorded. Then closing balance will come in the credit side. Buy balance credit down will come. You will not record depreciation. That is your. Trading P and L account. We are doing branch accounts now. 
petty cash opening balance will be debited sent will be debited and closing balance will be credited actual expenses you know i told you already transactions happening between branch and outsiders are not recorded then cash submitted by the branch includes cash sales plus collection from debtors that includes direct collections and what collected at the branch also try to prepare branch account let us see your goods are sent at cost or at invoice price cost if nothing is specified we can take it at what cost no removal of stock reserve required i'll explain once again we prepare debtors account to find out the closing balance then insurance paid is up to 31st march 3 months expenses are prepaid so that should be ascertained furniture opening balance is 12000 10% depreciation closing balance so in the branch account you will put two balance brought down 12000 that is furniture in the closing balance of assets you will record this 10800 petty cash two balance brought down in that you will include this 1500 then cash sent you will debit in the branch account and closing balance you will record cash opening balance plus sent minus spent will give us which one closing balance that will be recorded then cash remitted by the branch cash sales plus whatever they collected from debtors they sent to the head office having done this you can do branch account all the opening assets will come as two balance brought down all the opening liabilities will come as what by balance brought down what are the opening assets liabilities yes stock debtors cash all these things are given to us this one stock debtors cash furniture prepaid insurance all this will have what debit balance then outstanding salary is given opening balance that's a credit balance then record whatever is sent on the debit side record whatever is collected from the branch on which side credit side then let us go for recording the closing balances what is sent goods sent to branch goods sent to branch how much 280000 cash sent for various expenses what are the expenses this 12000 5400 4000 don't record on accrual basis whatever is sent debit the receiver we are preparing p and l account or debtors account we are under which method debtors method debit the receiver how much he received 12000 plus 5400 plus 4000 add up 12000 plus 5400 plus 4000 what is the total remittances Just add no. Don't include outstanding prepaid and all. Okay, whatever is sent, you debit it. Debit the receiver. How much total? Twenty one. Seventy. This also. Petty expenses also add it. Twenty one. Four hundred will come. Rent, salary, petty expenses. Whatever is sent, you record it. Our insurance also you can add. Thousand six hundred you can add. What is the total you are getting? Twenty three thousand. Whatever is sent by the head office to branch, no outstanding accrual should be added because we are under which method? Data's method, not under which method? Final accounts method. Please register in your mind. We are preparing branch account, treating the branch as which one? Data's. Debit the receiver. So what they received? This much of cash they received. What is the total of all these things? Twenty three thousand. You debited to cash sent for branch twenty three thousand. Okay. Then yeah, by goods returned by branch and cash remitted also. This we worked out. Yes. then 
record the closing balance of all the assets closing stock closing debtors we worked out then petty cash also we worked out then furniture minus depreciation we worked out only that much yeah prepaid insurance prepaid insurance closing balance that's it is there any outstanding expense at the end this is opening outstanding salary is there any outstanding salary given at the end this opening balance already we recorded closing balance nothing simple we are preparing a debtors account debit balance to balance brought down debit the receiver for the good sent and cash sent cash sent for all expenses including insurance then we record whatever is received from the branch the closing balance of all the thing we record debtors we have done a working note petty cash yeah working note also we have done furniture minus 10% depreciation prepaid insurance for the 3 months so 2 lakh 5200 if you have done this you can proceed at reading the next question next go to which question be faster in solving little bit faster read the question number 2 mumbai branch has uh, goods are sent at what cost plus 20% read the problem goods are sent at what cost plus 20% the branch keeps own sales ledger transfers cash receipt all those things are given opening stock opening debtors opening petty cash is given then uh, cash sales goods sent to branch collection on ledger accounts goods return to head office bad debts are given allowances to customers are given returns inward is given closing stock all the things are given to us try 
to think and work out. We are going to try. Only thing is that the goods are sent at what? Cost plus 25 percent invoice price. If cost is 100, profit is 25. Invoice price is what? 125. Think. The given amount is at cost or whatever, invoice price. If goods are sent at invoice price, the books of accounts at the branch would have been kept at what price? Invoice price. Or registers would have been maintained at invoice price. It's clearly mentioned, which charges out goods got cost plus 25% like that. See, listen, two balance brought down, all opening stock, opening data, petty cash, all those things. Then, goods sent to branch, how much? 40,000. Cash limited by head office for expenses. What are the cash limited by head office for expenses? All these things, rent paid, wages, salaries. Okay, any other thing? 1200 plus 1800 plus 400. The total of all the expenses. Goods sent to branch. Then, goods returned to head office, 600 is there. Cash remittance at the branch. Cash remittance at the branch. Cash sales plus collection from debtors. Cash sales plus what? Collection from debtors. Closing stock, closing debtors and closing petty cash. Up to this, clear? We, have not, we don't require any extra working required. But only thing is that, pay attention. For the opening stock, what room was the reserve? For the opening stock, this is an invoice price. What to do? Put room the profit at which side? Credit side as which one? Buy stock reserve. For the goods sent to branch, it is at invoice price. How to remove the profit? Credit side. Buy goods sent to branch. Buy stock reserve. Opening stock into 20% or you can say one fourth on cost, one fifth on sales like that. Same way, for the closing stock and goods returned, you would remove the profit on the debit side. Pay attention. Opening stock appears in which side? Debit side. To remove the loading on the credit side, this will be 22,000 into 25% on cost. One fourth on cost, it will be one fifth on sales. Goods sent to branch. 40,000 into 1 by 5. 40,000 into 1 by 5. Okay. Goods return, how much? 600 into 1 by 5, 600 into 1 by 5, closing stock into 1 by 5, 26,000 into 1 by 5. Why are we doing this in this problem? Because the goods are sent at what price? Invoice price, last problem we didn't do this because there was no such information. Opening balances, goods sent to branch, goods returned to head office, loading, then cash remitted by head office for expenses, 
what is received from branch and closing balances we record. These are the things extra in this problem. Because the goods are sent at invoice price, we eliminate the loading on the debit side to profit. Nineteen thousand four thirty. Whatever I highlighted in yellow, that is because of which one? Goods are sent at what price? Invoice price. On the debit side items, stock and goods sent, we remove loading on the credit side. On the credit side items, goods returned to head office and closing stock, we remove the loading on the debit side where we get the profit or loss. Miscellaneous income is not remitted, that is already included in the cash. This 250 includes what? Miscellaneous income is not remitted. Please remember, this is to record transactions between what? Head office and branch only. How much is remitted? 47,300. If it is not remitted, if it is included in cash balance, keep it in that. Because it is here to record only the transactions between what? Head office and branch. So that 50 rupees is already included here, so keep it in petty cash. One more thing you have observed, the stock lost is not recorded. Any stock lost is given? Loss of stock. What is the loss of stock? Is this his problem or loss problem? Okay. If there is a loss of stock, okay, here bad debts will not come, discount will not come, credit sales will not come. So, so completed, please go to question number 3. You have done this, please go to question number 3. I already told you, yeah, those who are asking the question, this account is maintained by head office, branch account is prepared by head office. Here, transaction between head office and branch only will be recorded. Branch with outsiders, bad dates, discount allowed, allowances, Credit sales, sales returns, abnormal losses of stock are not recorded in the account. That is a limitation of the system. That's why allowances data, sales returns by customers at the branch, we are not recording in the branch account. Go through question number three. We are given opening data, opening stock, opening furniture, opening petty cash. Repaid expense at the beginning, all these things will come as what? Two balance brought down. Salaries outstanding will come as by balance brought down. Goods sent to branch, of course, you will record in debit side. Cash sales, you will record in which one? Yeah, remittances. It will be included in remittances. From the total sales, eliminate cash sales, you will get which one? Credit sales. You will get credit sales. We are given cash receipt from debtors. Cash directly paid to the head office is also given to us. Goods returned by the branch is given to us. Goods returned by what? Data is nothing but sales returns. Cash rent for sent for various things. Cash sent for various things are given to us. Please remember monthly payments are sent. Monthly payments are sent. Pay attention. Based on this, we have to work out prepaid and outstanding amounts. Okay. Monthly how much? 800 per month, 800 into 12, how much it is? 9,600. Already there is an outstanding expenses, if there is any, you have to consider. Salary also, if there is any outstanding expense, you have to consider. Petty cash is given. Insurance is paid up to what? June 2017. We are closing the accounts on 31st. 
March. So how many months expenses prepaid? Three months prepaid. Then actual expenses are given. Discount allowed to customers are given. Goods costing 2500 was damaged in transit. A sum of 2000 was recorded from insurance company. Depreciated value of furniture is how much? 10%. Branch manager's commission is 5%. The last one, what is the last one? Goods are sold by the branch at cost plus 100%. Is it sent to by the head office or sold by the branch? Sold by the branch at cost plus 100%. Now, what is missing in the problem? Closing balance of what all is missing? Betas, stock, furniture minus depreciation you have to do. Petty cash also we have to work out. Then prepaid insurance also you have to check. Salary outstanding also might be the, might be there we have to think and work out. So whatever is the opening balance given, opening stock, we have to work out closing stock, closing datas, furniture, petty cash, prepaid insurance, salary is also we have to check. Is there any outstanding amount at the end like that we have to check and proceed. So let us work out one by one. First you start with which one? EC1. What is the first one? Start datas account, prepared datas account. Start with datas account. Opening balance is there. Credit sales is nothing but total sales minus cash sales. Total sales minus what? Cash sales will give us which one? Credit sales. Discount allowed cash collected by the branch. Cash given to head office also you adjust. Sales returns you can adjust then you will get closing balance as a balancing figure. Closing balance as which one? Balancing figure. It's a simple one, no hide and seek in this, very very simple plain data account, right? Now, what is, we have, what is the thing we have to work out? Closing stock, see, don't think on ledger account, debit, credit, journal entry and all. Think that you are in the garden of the branch. You are a stock in charge. You are a stock in charge. Take the opening balance, add the inflow, minus the outflow, you will get closing balance. You are in the godown. Opening balance of stock is there. Add up all the inflows that is happening to the branch. Whatever is received, you add it okay, into the branch. Whatever is sent out to the branch, it can be goods returned, sales or whatever, you eliminate, but ensure that, please no one listen, ensure that all the transactions should be recorded at, at single price. If it is cost, cost price. If it is sales, selling price like that. Stock should be maintained at what price? Cost price. So opening stock will be at cost price. In this problem, we are not given invoice price. Goods sent to branch also what price? Cost price. Like that. All inflows and outflows record at cost. As a balancing for you will get which one? Closing stock at cost. Try Pay attention. Take it like an inflow. All inflows you add, all outflows you deduct. So that you will get which one? Closing stock. Ensure that you are recording this like what? Statement. Or at cost price. Okay. So what is the opening stock at branch? 25,000. Is it mentioned that it is at invoice price? Goods are sent at invoice price? See, goods are sold at the branch at cost plus 100%. That is for fixing selling price. Whether head office is sending the goods at invoice price? No. So it is cut cost only. Then goods sent to branch also will be at what price? Cost price. Goods returned by the branch also will be at cost price. All these things no problem. Then pay attention. What about sales? Will you record sales here? Sales value? No. We have to convert the cost. Look at the problem. What is given? Goods are sold at cost plus 100%. Simple. If cost is 100, profit is 100, selling price will be what? 200. So selling price, if it is given out to convert to cost. If cost is 100, profit is 100, selling price is what? 200. Half the amount will be what? Cost. Half the amount will be cost. So cost of the goods sold out and sales returns 
should be taken at cost price. Okay, cost of the goods items return. Clear? This should be recorded at cost. If 350,000 is selling price, half the amount will be cost. 100 by 200. Sales returns also should be taken at cost. When you tally this, you will get... No, no, no. There is a shortage of stock, right? Shortage or abnormal loss? No, no, no goods in transit. Ah, goods damaged also will reduce the stock. So, goods damaged also will reduce. So, balancing fair will be closing stock. If cost is 100, we charge a profit of 200. Sorry, 100. Selling price is like how much? 200. So when selling price is known to us, what is the cost we work out? That's why 100 by 200. This is what? 3,50,000 into 100 by 200. Sales returns also. 2000 into 1 by 2. Closing stock how much we got? 46,500. We can start with branch account itself. There itself we can adjust other balances like closing balance of various other things. We can do it in branch account itself. Or instead of taking it as inflow or outflow, you can take it as a stock account like two opening stock, two goods and to branch, two cost of goods returned. Okay, buy goods returned to buy branch or buy goods returned from branch, buy goods to cost of goods sold out, buy abnormal loss, then buy closing stock like a ledger also you can take it. Anyhow, it is inflow minus outflow, everything recorded at cost so that we get the closing balances. Then, now we worked out closing stock, closing data. Okay, what are the other things you have to work out? Closing balances like asset value, prepaid item or outstanding item, try to find out. Petty cash already we have done a model, right? Opening cash plus cent minus what? Spent will give us what? Closing balances. Try to do it, try to do it and prepare the branch account. No need of separate working now. If you want, you can do it in what? Branch account itself. Start.
we will prepare the branch account opening balance any doubt in it we required to opening stock debtors furniture petty cash and which one prepaid insurance closing balance there is opening balance outstanding salary is recorded okay pay attention everybody 2 3 minutes just listen to it then you can take it up what is the goods sent and goods returned by the branch what is the goods sent 2 lakhs in that what is the goods returned by the branch 2000 wait this cash remittances will include cash sales plus which one collection from debtors and uh, whatever is remitted by what debtors directly to the head office as well as what insurance claims to remember whatever is received on behalf of the branch we will include here whatever is received on behalf of the branch we will include it here so add up cash sales to lakh 70000 what is collected from customers 65000 And how many, how much of customers pay to the head office directly? Five thousand. And insurance claims recovery. Simple. From this, you should understand any cash received on behalf of the branch, we'll take it as what by cash. It can be cash sales limited or credit collections limited, or it can be insurance recovery. Anything that is collected on behalf of the branch, it will be what credited. then goods sent to branch what is a goods sent to branch 2 lakhs abnormal loss and all will not be recorded in the branch account then what is the cash sent for various expenses 9600 plus 48000 plus 2000 plus 1200 all the expenses paid by the Head office, including insurance, all the expenses paid, all the expenses paid, you charge it. Then, closing balance of stock, how much is there? We worked out right forty six thousand five hundred closing balance of debtors seventeen thousand five hundred then furniture minus depreciation what is the furniture six thousand minus depreciation ten percent how much five thousand four hundred then petty cash opening balance plus what is sent by the office minus what what is spent opening balance. Thousand plus cent minus spent. Then, then prepaid insurance. Insurance is paid up to which month? June month. June month, which means we are closing the books of accounts in March. In the absence of information, don't assume that fifteen months paid, eighteen months paid, and all. It is normally insurance can be taken for what? One year. So three months prepaid. Prepaid insurance for three months. Twelve thousand into three by twelve. Twelve thousand into three by twelve. Wait. So far, everyone would have done without a mistake. Anything else to be done? No. Before commission, thing, 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 thing. Ah, oh, opening prepaid insurance we recorded. Closing prepaid insurance also we recorded. There is a hidden information in the problem. Ah. Oh. No, no, no. We are not going to record. We are not going to record any transactions at branch with outsiders. Cash sales, credit sales. We are not going to record. That information is given to ascertain which one. That information was given to find out stock value before commission. There is something else. Very good. Outstanding salary. Pay attention. Pay attention. Everybody, pay attention. What is the salary paid per month? Four thousand. Okay, into twelve. How much they paid? Forty-eight thousand they paid. This is for the year. This is a salary. Pay attention. Pay attention. This is a salary paid. This is amount paid. Pay attention. What is the opening 
salary outstanding, 4,000 outstanding salary is there at the beginning of the year. But current year you paid only 48,000. How much you should have paid? See, this 4,000 plus 48, totally you should have paid how much? 52,000, but we paid totally only how much? 48,000 means still there is an outstanding salary. Or, pay attention, what is the salary for the year? Let us do by normal final accounts method. What is the salary for the year? 4,000 into 12. How much? 48,000. Okay, normally what will you do? We will take salary paid. We will salary paid, we will add what? Outstanding at the end, at the beginning, at the end we will add less what? This is what we will do. We will get salary for the year that will be charged in which account? P and L account. Otherwise, we can call it as this is the uh, uh, this is the expenses on which one? Accrued for the year. Accrued for the year or payable for the year. Not at the end of the year. Payable for the year. Wait. What is paid given in the problem? 48,000 is paid given in the problem. Okay. What is outstanding at the beginning? 4,000 is outstanding at the beginning. Which means, which means, this is a balancing figure. We paid 48,000 only. This includes paid for last year how much? 4,000. But for the year how much you should have paid? 48,000. So what is outstanding at the end? 4,000 is outstanding at the end. If you don't understand, there is one more method, simplest method in which we can work out. What is paid for the year? 48,000. This includes outstanding at the beginning. Outstanding at the beginning, how much was there? 4,000. So, what is the balance? 44,000 is paid for the current year. Okay. Pay attention. What is accrued accrual basis or what is this? I mean, salary payable. What is the salary payable on monthly basis? 4,000 into 12, how much you should have paid? 48,000 you should have paid. But since we have paid 48,000, outstanding is 4,000. 44,000 is only paid. What is the balance? 4,000 more is outstanding at the end. Outstanding at the end of the year is how much? 4,000. So this will come as to outstanding salary. This will come as which one? To outstanding salary. Outstanding salary, 4,000. Wait, wait, wait. Now, don't tally this and find out the profit. We have to calculate which one? Commission to the manager. Commission to the manager, tell me the rough balance. Tell me the rough balance. This 4 lakh 18 500 minus 3 lakh 7,100. What is the rough balance? 1 lakh 11,400. Wait. Whether the commission is given normal commission or after charging? After charging means 5 by 105. 5 by 105 is the commission. That you charge it. Then you close, you will get net profit. I will repeat the crucial points. Pay, pay and attention. This cash remitted to head office includes all these remittances. Then, this one, all cash collected is remitted. Cash received from debtors, cash sales, direct payments and insurance claims also. This prepaid insurance is 1200 into 3 by 12. Two minutes. Okay. 
before putting this managerial commission, we get 1,11,400 into what? 5 by 105. This outstanding salary is very simple. We paid for the year 48,000. Opening balance outstanding includes 4,000. So, 4,000 more is payable at the end of the year. Petty cash, opening balance plus what is sent minus spent, you have to take it. That is petty cash. Commission, first calculate the profit roughly into 5 by what? 105. And uh, that is a way main weakness of this branch account. What is the weakness of the branch account? We don't record. We don't record which one? Goods, last, goods, abnormal loss, normal loss. Okay. Transactions at the branch like cash sales, credit sales, those things we don't record at all. Okay. So, we will have about 10 minutes of break. Then we will continue to the next method called as which method? Stock and debtors method. Stock and debtors method. We will continue after the break. Those who are in the meeting either can stay in the meeting or exit and join. We will start sharply in 10 minutes of time.